Hi, my name is Henry Segerman. This is a video about some further adventures in stereographic projection. So this is the same design as in the previous video. These uh, curves on the sphere um, get mapped down to this uh, square grid on the plane with the rays of light uh, casting shadows uh, effectively doing stereographic projection. Um, so what's different here from the previous video is the, the lighting setup. Um, so in the other video I had uh, just my, my phone as the light source. This is a, a mini Maglite uh, LED um, torch or, or flashlight if you're American. Here's, a, here's another one. Um, so you can take the lens off and you get this really awesome uh, point light source. It's very bright, um, casts very sharp shadows because, uh, because the light source is so small. It's got a very wide angle that it casts uh, shadows. So you can really see the whole extent of the thing. Um, let's put this away. And so before I couldn't really get, um, you couldn't really see um, the boundary of, of the pattern, but here you can really go all the way out. So this is a, a square grid. What about a hexagonal grid? So um, this works very much the same way as, uh, as the square grid, and you get this nice regular hexagonal grid on, on the plane coming from this sort of curvy distorted grid on the sphere. Um, so as I say, both of these, you've got a, a very a distorted pattern on the sphere, which maps down to a very regular pattern on the plane. So what about going the other way, starting with something that's very regular on the sphere, and then seeing what happens when you project that down onto the plane. So this is a design based on uh, the dodecahedron and the icosahedron. Um, so there's, uh, there's these big circles, there are 12 big circles, and there are uh, 20 small circles. Some of them are a little bit cut off at the top, which is where the light's going to go. Um, each one of these big circles corresponds to one of the pentagonal faces of the dodecahedron. It's actually sort of inscribed inside of a, uh, a pentagon here. And each of the, uh, the, the small circles are inscribed inside of a triangle of the icosahedron. Um, and since the dodecahedron and the icosahedron are dual to each other, uh, these circles uh, fit together in this way, intersecting with uh, the circles of the other type at uh, 90 degrees. And so let's see if I can get this lined up. So you get this uh, very nice pattern on the plane. And this, uh, this illustrates one of the, it sort of illustrates a couple of uh, really amazing features of uh, stereographic projection. Uh, the first is that it uh, preserves angles. Um, so in this case, all of these, these uh, right angles on the, uh, um, on the sphere map down to right angles. There's a right angle between these, uh, these curves on the plane. Um, the other amazing feature of stereographic projection, not only does it preserve angles, it also preserves circles. So all of these circles on the sphere map down to circles on the plane. It's maybe a little hard to tell um, just because the way the, the camera's angled um, that they are actually circles. Um, but uh, here's a, a view from above that shows that they, they really are um, circles. Although they're, they're circles, but the centers of the circles are not preserved. So, so, for example, over here, hopefully you can see this. Um, so this, pen, uh, this circle here um, with this sort of pentagonal uh, star shape inside maps down to this circle, this big circle going off the, the side of the, um, the view of the camera down here. But the center of this circle up here is at the center of this five-pointed star. Um, and the center of the five-pointed star is somewhere around here was the center of the whole circle is, is quite a bit further away down over here. Um, okay, so um, that's one design based on the icosahedron and the dodecahedron. Here's another one. So there's all of these uh, little triangles and triangular gaps. And you'll notice that if you put five of the, the triangles and five of the gaps together around here, then it makes a, a pentagon this is a, a pentagon of, of the uh, dodecahedron. And if you put um, three triangles and three gaps together here, you get one of the, the triangles of the icosahedron. So again, it, it's sort of using the duality between the icosahedron and the dodecahedron. Um, and these little triangles and little gaps 
are the, the, the fundamental domain for the uh, symmetry group of the icosahedron and of the, the dodecahedron, same symmetry group. Um, so if you just have the, uh, uh, the filled in triangles and little gaps, then um, there's one little triangle for each of the rotational um, or the, the, the orientation preserving symmetries of the icosahedron or of the dodecahedron. And if you include uh, the, the gaps and the, the solid triangles, then, then that includes the reflectional symmetries as well. And uh, it produces this, uh, this beautiful pattern on the plane. So these are the, the four different uh, experiments, two of them taking a, a regular pattern on the, on the plane to uh, an irregular pattern on the sphere, and two of them taking a regular pattern on the sphere to a less regular pattern on the plane. Thanks for watching.